Hello everyone, welcome to my channel for the best media. We have already discussed the structure of purins and pyrimidins and the tips to learn uh, the structure very easily before in my earlier lectures. In this lecture, we are going to see uh, from where and from which compound the different carbon and nitrogen molecules of purins and pyrimidins have been derived. The detailed account of the biosynthesis of purins and pyrimidins will be uh, given as a different lecture later on. But now let's see the most important thing which you have to buy heart and keep in your mind for net exams. So let's see from where purins and pyrimidins have their carbons and nitrogens from. Okay, so let's see uh, what are the different sources of the carbons and nitrogens that are present in a purin. Here we can see that the nitrogen in the first position has been derived from aspartate amine. Carbon in the second position is originating from formate. Nitrogen in the third position and nitrogen in the ninth position is, has been derived from glutamine amide. Carbon in the sixth position is uh, deriving from bicarbonate ion. Nitrogen in the seventh position is from glycine and carbon in the eighth position is from formate. The detailed explanation of biosynthesis of purin will be explained in a different lecture. Right now, you have to learn the structure and the derivatives of each of, not the derivative, the sources of each of these carbon and nitrogen. First, you should by heart these and once you are clear with these derivatives, then we will go to the detailed biosynthetic pathway. Okay, now let's see what are the different sources of carbons and nitrogens in a pyramidal molecule. Here we see the basic structure of a pyramidin. The nitrogen in the first position has been derived from ribose 5-phosphate. Carbon in the second position is from a bicarbonate ion, but it's not directly coming from a direct uh, bicarbonate ion. The bicarbonate ion is first converted to carbomyl phosphate and after two or three reactions, they will be finally uh, donating this carbon atom. The nitrogen in the third position is from glutamine. Carbon in the 4th and 5th and 6th position along with nitrogen in the 1st position together has been donated completely by aspartate. How this is happening and what are the different reactions behind all these donations all these will be discussed in a different lecture very detailed. So I hope it's very much clear for all of you that what are the different sources of carbon and nitrogen. First you should by heart these and later we will see in details what are the different uh, biosynthetic pathway of purins and pyramids. We will again see in a different lecture. Thank you.